it is pretty wild uh, that we are actually forcing people to pay to leave. People are very worried about their lives, uh, the lives of their children. They started this GoFundMe because they know if they pay, they can leave. It's the exact meaning of an individual salvation. Unfortunately, it's the only way available in front of these people to collect the funds. Hey guys, I'm trying to get some attention for this family. They are in serious need of help. We're in the thousands of GoFundMe's that are out there, and I believe that that level of GoFundMe's being out there is just overwhelming people. We, we've seen people faking GoFundMe accounts. They'll take pictures of the of Gaza, anything that's popped up in Telegram or the news, and make up a story. Some people will go ahead and copy a full GoFundMe account that's already established and change the link. So it's really important that people are checking the link on the social media accounts for the organizers and the beneficiaries, the families. Help me I think it's important to highlight that most of these are not scams, right? There are scams, but uh, the scams are not more likely to occur because they're Palestinians being fundraised for. Palestinians have often had to pay to leave Gaza if they didn't have dual citizenship or a passport elsewhere. So this again just goes to the structural and institutional discrimination that Palestinians continue to face.